Um, but you know, we, we, we actually have this series and we've brought several journalists over the past couple of years to talk about this because we actually do want students to be engaging with the idea that, hey, there are things that are happening now that are really not normal yeah. and very detrimental. Um, if you could just talk to the students. When, when you think about the democracy being in peril, what would you say to the students who are about to graduate and enter this brutal workforce that we talked about at the beginning? How, how, do, we, how do we turn this around? How do we turn around which part of it? The part of society that's not believing facts, not trusting the news, not trusting higher education, uh, you know, creating a situation where it is very likely that as a public um, official, if you do something that people don't like, you, you, you may be facing threats of violence or people acting on violence. How, how do we course I mean, correct? I mean, I was told there was gonna be no math on this exam. <laughs> I don't know. I, I will say that I do think it's our obligation uh, as people, let's just say, because I don't view that, I mean, obviously, I don't view this as a partisan issue, even though obviously Republicans are part of the problem here, but not all Republicans. And I, I do think that it is important for people who are not part of this lie industrial complex to not lower themselves to the same kind of behavior, which means it's okay to disagree. Let's just, I'm just gonna mention Adam Kinzinger for, because I think he is a good person, okay? Adam Kinzinger is a conservative Republican. You might disagree with him on every issue. Or Liz Cheney. Liz Cheney is a conservative Republican. You might disagree with her on every issue. Or Mitt Romney, again, these three. You should be able to disagree with them without calling them names. There is something bigger going on right now than politics. And by politics, you might, I understand that there are really important issues having to do with reproductive rights and LGBT rights and civil rights, and I am not belittling any of them. But if democracy goes out the window, there is nothing else. There is nothing else. Everything else is, is there is progress being made, um, and, and progress doesn't look like a straight line, it never does. It's always back and forth, it's always back and forth. But if democracy goes out the window, and I think people don't understand how most countries are not democratic. Yeah. It is fragile. There are countries in the world that used to have democracy and now don't. It happens. I'm not saying it's gonna happen in this country, but it has happened to places. And once democracy goes, it's really tough to get it back. And it is fine to disagree with people, it is fine to call them names, it is fine to exercise your First Amendment rights against them and, and think that they're wrong about issues. But please understand that democracy is more important than anything else. Because the right to elect people or defeat them at the ballot box is the most sacred thing. It is what separates the United States from most other countries. And I, I think we take it for granted uh, because we've had it so long. Mm -hmm. Although we haven't really had it that long because we've only really had it since the 60s. That's right. So I just think that people need to understand how fragile this democracy is. It's the American experiment. It's not the American proven theorem. We don't know that it's gonna work. We're hoping it works. We're teetering right now. Yeah. It's like three states. This is one of them. My home commonwealth of Pennsylvania is one of them. You got Wisconsin. Those three go. That's it. And so people really just need to understand that however much you hate Liz Cheney, Mitt Romney, Adam Kinzinger, like, it is important that they value democracy. And you can't lump them in with Donald Trump. There needs to be a news, um, 
What's the word I'm looking for? There just needs to be a civic, a civic awareness where people understand the stakes when it comes to these elections. Everything depends on the democracy because once that goes, there's nothing else. You can't fight for any rights if there's no elections. If somebody can just say, I don't like the results of those elections, therefore I won, then there's no LGBT rights. There's no abortion rights. There, there's nothing. No. If you can just declare yourself the winner because you don't like the results. And that is what Donald Trump tried to do. And there's like, you replace like 15 people in positions of power across the country and he wins. He succeeds in that corrupt enterprise. And most people in his party refused to do anything about it. We all saw it happen. And this isn't partisan. This has nothing to do with his political views. This has everything to do with his disdain for democracy. And so I just think that the respect we have for people who stand up for democracy is important. That's all. <laughs>